Well, here we are with Bob the dog. We're dog sitting for Dot's daughter. And this is Bob, who we've walked many times in the past, but he hasn't been on the old Jesus diary lately because it's just the way it goes. But we're walking him today, and if you remember his usual wild abandon, it's a bit quiet and uh, he hasn't been feeling very well. We don't know what it is, but. We're under instructions to treat him with little kid gloves, really. So I thought what we'd do is go for a walk up and down the park and uh, really just see how things go along. If he's not better fairly soon, we're going to take him to the vet and see what's working and what's not. But uh, there you have it. Poor Bobby. Do you want to go for a poo? That's what I'm out for, really, is to get him to do something dramatic. <laughs> but I don't want to stay out too long because it is unbelievably hot, which is why we're staying in the uh, shade a bit. But he's having a nice walk, aren't you, Bob? He's not at all worried about running off. So I assume that's a facet of him being a bit unwell because normally... He'd be dead keen to go off on his own and do exciting stuff. Largely sniffing things and eating things. Come on, Bob the dog. Now, but I'd really like him to do a poo. Because <laughs> doing a poo when you're out saves trouble at home. And it's easy to pick up on the grass and stuff, isn't it? But we're going to see how it goes. I'll probably take him out a trot later on this afternoon or this evening when it gets a bit cooler but right now it's a bit hot for old geezers and it's a bit hot for Bob so we're just going up and down here a couple more times I think this might be, be our last turn round so we'll see how he feels how you doing son? Bobby! Bob, come here, sit good dog Stay. I don't know what you can see but he does look a bit Red-eyed. Yeah. That was my crap throwing, really, that was but there you go. Right then, Bob. We're going to walk up here and then we're going home, mate. OK? That's what we're doing. We're not going very far. And I'm going to find a place that's cool. Sit and read my book. And there's a message from my one of my semi-granddaughters. Ashley, which is to say, I've still got your book, Ashley, and I'm rereading it. Do you want it back? Because somebody else wants to borrow it. <laughs> there you go. Walk in the shade, Bob. There's a good boy. So there you go. We're having a nice stroll with Bob the dog on the old geezer's diary. Because his, um, what am I doing? There we go. Because he's cracking on as well as me. But uh, he's doing all right. Keep going, Bob. Walk in the shade a bit, mate. In the shade, that's it. That's better. There. He's such a nice chap, though. You can't say anything about him, really, because he's quite a nice character. He's always delighted to see you. He's going to give his eyes a little wipeout when we get home. And uh, he's winging a lot, but he's not pooing at all. We'll probably have one when he gets home, which I think it's right. But there you go. We'll see how it all goes, won't we, Bobby? And then we'll come out and give you a proper trot tonight when the sun has gone in a bit. And it's cooled down. In the meantime... Oh, to home. Just going to have a stop for a minute. And then you have a sniff, because we're going to go out on the road in a minute. So you're just up there. So, here we go. No, no, you're not going in there and eating sticks, because that's what's done you before. So, Bob the dog. Bob. He's such a good boy. Bobby, look. There, he's a good boy. And he'll sit and look at me and watch me get a sweetie or a treat out of my pocket. And you can see it. No, no, stay. How was that? That was better. And now we're going home, okay? And uh, all geezers, diaryites, we'll see you shortly. <laughs>